Welcome back. New details tonight in the case of a Fort Lauderdale hotel, hotel valet who was sucker punched on the job. You may have seen this video. It's tough to watch. The man accused in the alleged attack is now facing charges. CBS 4's Carrie Codd live at the Broward County Courthouse in Fort Lauderdale with more. Carrie. Yeah, Rick, we're learning new details from the court documents revealed today, including the fact that the suspect in this case told police he's a boxer and that when he punched the valet, he hit him on the sweet spot, right on the chin. This punch knocked out valet Rodolfo Rodriguez, and now it could put the suspected puncher, John Kiernan, in jail. Just punched me on the face. I don't know why, but no reasons to punch. Court records filed with the Broward County Clerk of the Court's Office show that prosecutors are filing a misdemeanor battery charge against Kiernan, a retired law enforcement officer who worked in Georgia. Fort Lauderdale police say Kiernan told officers he was upset with the parking fees at the Ocean Sky Hotel and Resort in Fort Lauderdale, where he was staying last week. And during a discussion with Rodriguez, when the valet told him the parking cost was 18 bucks, Kiernan is accused of knocking him out. It's not a reason to fire me for a parking spot, for a parking fee, no. Kiernan told police he was afraid Rodriguez had a weapon and patted him down while Rodriguez was down and out. The valet did not have a weapon. Ever since the video hit the news and social media, many have wondered why Kiernan wasn't immediately arrested. Basically what it boils down to is whether there was serious bodily injury. David Kabilian is the attorney representing Rodriguez. He explained that even though Rodriguez is suffering persistent headaches and pain in his jaw, prosecutors felt this was a misdemeanor. He said prosecutors are monitoring Rodriguez's condition to see if this should be upgraded to a felony. They could up the charge to a felony charge if, for example, Mr. Rodriguez shows signs of, of a permanent injury. Rodolfo Rodriguez is considering a civil suit against Kiernan. He wants to make sure Kiernan is held accountable. The important thing here is this person is not going to be hurt anybody, anybody else. The statement for the suspect sent, uh, excuse me, the lawyer for the suspect sent me a statement today. It reads, the state made a rush decision to file charges, most likely due to the publicity and public reaction to the video. We're disappointed that the state did not take the time to fully investigate this case, as they do with all other cases, because if they had, they would realize my client was acting within the law and should not be charged. Live in Fort Lauderdale, Carrie Codd, CBS 4 News. Thank you, Carrie.